when I came here as someone who qualified in agriculture, I thought it's an uh, opportunity to broaden my knowledge in uh, agronomy, crop agronomy. But then when I get to this point, I find out that knowledge per se is not enough to boost your production in farming. You also need divine intervention uh, to set tone for serious-minded business in agriculture. Conservation agriculture, yes, it's a solution. Uh, when I heard of this from of the conservation agriculture, uh, I also wanted to accompany my friends coming here. I wanted to come here so that I could see it myself as Peter in the Bible. This is the first time to hear a Bible and I decided to read myself. I thought maybe it was all about farming, but I realized that it's all about receiving the word of God. I was someone who wasn't able to forgive. For sure, being here was a pleasure. It was a calling from God that I've learned a lot that I should forgive. For giving forgiveness to other people will set me free, will get me moving. I learned of love. You should love one another, love your neighbor. Forgiveness. Should you forgive one another? So we thought we are in the modern world and we should do maybe resort to these modern farming technologies, abandoning this issue of digging holes and so forth. So much say that a lot of farmers cannot accept it. But when I go back to myself, I've learned that there are so many benefits attached to this conservation agriculture. I have learned that I should start by praying in everything that I do. Be it in my fields, I should start by praying with more in the morning with my workers before we go for work. Even if I go around to teach my farmers uh, when I'll be extending the knowledge, I should also pray first so that they will accept me as their teacher, so that the word of the Lord will be upon them as I will be advising them. We are going to make it because with the number of farmers that we came up with here for the training, about 29, I think they are going to be our, our benchmark, our starting point because it is from those who have been educated here that will, will help us disseminate the word of conservation agriculture. With the Lord, everything is possible. 